Good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday here. The one day before Shabbos. Gewalt, gewalt. So let's kick off this day and really energize ourselves to get ready for Shabbos. So let's kick into lesson 11. Lesson 11 is talking about Hashem's power, Hashem's glory within this world, godliness. So let's kick right into it. Lesson 11. The whole earth is filled with his glory, with his, with his power, with his essence. No place is, is devoid of Hashem, of God. He fills all worlds and he encompasses all worlds. Even a person whose occupation is trading with non-Jews cannot excuse himself and say, I cannot serve Hashem. I'm, I'm, learning, I'm dealing with the non-Jews, so I'm not serving Hashem. I don't need that. I'm busy with this. Because of the materialism that burdens him through his business, right? So it says here, let's go back for a second. It says, even a person's occupation, right, is trading with Gentiles. And he excused himself and said, I cannot serve Hashem. Because the materialism that burdens him through his business, that like, I'm too into the materialistic stuff. And it's too much of a burden, that deal with business stuff. I can't serve Hashem. I don't so it says, right, godliness exists, Hashem exists, Hashem's light exists in everything, every single thing, even a car, everything, the smallest thing, our keys, our wallet, our sunglasses, everything you can think of, Hashem is there. Our computer, Hashem is always there. We can see spirituality in anything, even in material things, right, in all languages of all Gentiles. Hashem is there. Hashem speaking through someone that's any nationality. Without godliness, they would have no vitality and they could not endure for a moment. So everything that is in this world right now has spirituality. If it didn't, it, it couldn't stand for a moment. It would be out. Every single thing. Traffic light. In our car. Someone crosses the road. Everything has spirituality in it. If it doesn't, it is only that lower the level, right? It is, it is only at the lower the level, the more concentrated is godliness and the more heavenly revealed it is. So it's pretty much saying here, the whole lesson is saying Hashem is in everything. Let's try our best to focus on that, on that kavana, that Hashem is in everything. Someone cuts you off. Someone yells at you. Whatever the situation is, you go buy a coffee at the store and it falls on the floor. Hashem is there. Hashem was in that coffee. It fell for some person, for some reason. That could be a test. End of the day, Hashem is in everything. Every single thing. He's he's in the coffee shop when you're there. He's everything. Otherwise, those things can't survive here. So to remember and have a kavana, that Hashem is always with us. Hashem is always with us. All times, 24-7. Hope you guys have a great day. And let's kick off and remember the Kavanas that Hashem is always with us. You're never alone. Have a great day, guys.